Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to build a really simple slideshow using just JavaScript. No jQuery or any other libraries, just plain old JavaScript. Alright, so I'm going to skip the HTML body tags and all that stuff. You guys know how to do that. So let's go ahead and just put in some script tags. And then the only thing that you want to put in your HTML itself is an image tag. And we're going to give it a name of slide. Okay, we'll also give it a width of let's say 400 and a height of 200 okay so there's our image tag now up here we want to set a couple options so we're going to set a variable called i and set that to zero that's basically the start point or the start index we're going to have an array of images and we're going to just kind of loop through those okay we also want a variable called images which is an empty array and let's create a variable called time, which will be the time in milliseconds between each uh, each image switch, which will set to three uh, three seconds. Okay, then we need our image list. So these will be array values with image paths. So we'll say images zero, and let's set that to uh, image one dot jpeg. And I'll, I'll leave a link in the description with all the code as well as the images I'm using. Okay, so let's see, images one, and we'll set that to image two.jpg, and images two, set that to image three.jpg. All right, so that's our array. Now we need a function to change the image. So we're going to create a function function called change img. All right, and we want to set uh, document dot slide. Now we can get this because we put <coughs> excuse me the name attribute of slide for our image, and then we want to grab the source, and we want to set that equal to images i okay in this case i is going to be zero because that's what we set up here so we're setting it to the first image all right and then what we want to do is we want to do an if statement and we want to say if i is less than images dot length now images dot length in this case is going to be three because there's three different indexes uh, but the the index is zero base so it's zero one two um, so basically we want to check to see if it's the last index of two. Now this is three, so we're just going to take away one from that. All right, and then if that's true, then we just want to increment by one. And if it's at the last index, then we want to reset it to zero, okay? And then after that, what we want to do is we want to uh, run this function every however many seconds we have up here. So for that we can use set timeout. And in here we'll put in the function change image and we want to run that every uh, three seconds in this case and we can easily change this up here. All right and then we want to go outside of the function and we want this change image to run initially when the page loads. So we're going to say window dot on load equals change image just like that. All right, and then that should do it. So let's go ahead and save and reload. So there's our first image. Let's wait three seconds. There's the next one, the next one, and so on. All right, and if we wanted to, for instance, change this up here to one second and reload, you see it will change every one second. And this is scalable. Let me put that back to three. Uh, so if I have image four in here, so if you want to add another one, we'll go ahead and do that and just set this to three, set this to four, save it, reload. Actually, I'll put it back to one just so it goes fast. And now that's one, two, three, four. Okay, so now it adds a fourth image. So it's as easy as that to do a very simple slideshow. Um, I will do a, a more advanced one with probably using jQuery where we can have thumbnails and all that. But just wanted to get something really simple out there for you guys. And that's it. Thanks for watching.